Yo guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives. It's that time of the year again where we get our annual event uh, around the Chinese Lunar New Year. This all started, I think, about five years ago with uh, Enter the Pig. It wasn't Enter the Pig, but it was Year of the Pig, followed by the Rat, and then there was something in between the Rat. I, I believe it was Cow. Um, and then after that was Year of the Rabbit, and then it was now Enter the Dragon. So our new season takeover is Enter the Dragon, and I always found that this special tag to be one of the most peculiar ones out of all the special tags we get, like in the shadow or Call of the Wild, and, and that's because Hudge likes to cherry pick cars. Like, you know, when you think it's Enter the Dragon, the years under this China Zodiac would be like 2024, 2012, 2000, um, but that isn't the case. Like, they don't add every single car from those selected years. They just cherry pick cars from 2024, from 2012, from 2000, and it always, you know, kind of intrigues me. Uh, if they even like put some thought into the cars that they select or they're literally just picking names out of a hat And they're just like, oh, yeah, this Aston Martin is you know, we took it out of a hat It's gonna be into the dragon like I really don't know and uh, I'm making a video around this because I want to highlight every single car from all of the Dragon years and then show you in a separate slide What are the cars that they actually chose and what were the cars that they actually snubbed? And I think the main reason why I want to make this today's video and this really makes no sense to me at all whatsoever they have the Peugeot Onyx as the thumbnail car, right? Not only is it the thumbnail car from when you load up the game when, uh, you know, update 21.2 officially releases. Obviously, this season will only come out uh, when the previous one, I believe, in the shadows, whatever the current one is, ends, right? So when this comes out, we're going to be seeing this in the menu. We've already changed the thumbnail for the game. Uh, so obviously, like your app, when you select top drives on your phone, you're going to see the Peugeot Onyx. And it's just so peculiar, man. Like the Peugeot Onyx is in there and it's not even within the Enter the Dragon tag. Now, I guess the next question is, how do I know the cars from Enter the Dragon? Because obviously, if you log into Top Drives right now, you wouldn't see the Enter the Dragon tag under miscellaneous and all that kind of stuff, but obviously, Top Drives records already have access to it, and some people are already sharing it online. So, uh, the way to get uh, a first inside peek at Enter the Dragon, you basically have to do some like time travel stuff. I don't know how to do that, but there are players out there in Discord servers that know how to do that. So basically, you know, the cars for the tag has already been leaked. Now, because it's not officially in the game yet, you can say that things are subject to change, but the odds of things changing is ridiculously slim. So let's get into it. These are the years of the Dragon of 2024, 2012, 2000, 1988, 76, 64. 52, 40, and 28. Now, I'm only gonna be covering all chores and above, and basically everything ends at 64. There are no 52, 40, or 28 as far as I know. So, let us get into it. We're gonna start off with legendaries, okay? So, this is all the 2012 legendary cars that are in top drives right now. So kind of cherry pick your favorite. And I think it's a little bit better if you've not seen the leaks um, of the cars that are going to get uh, the Year of the Dragon tag. So that way you can look at all of this and you kind of can play along with the video and say, oh yeah, I think it'd be great if the Audi DTM was in it. Oh, it'd be great if the Janetta G55 GT3 was in it. Um, and now knowing that not every car is gonna get selected, I'm gonna show you what were the cars that were selected. And as you can see, according to those teasers, the only ones making it through from the 2012 legendaries are the Copo Camaro, which makes no sense because why is it even included? Nobody has it. Why is it even there? Um, one of the reasons why I believe that the Copo Camaro is there is so Hutch can utilize it um, in the challenge. Because usually in like you know a special tag challenge, you're coming you're coming up against cars that have that tag as well. So the reason why the Copo Camaro is in here is you know makes me think that you're gonna face a Copo Camaro. Uh, in the Year of the Dragon Challenge. Some other cars that they included was the Radical SR3, um, the ever so disgusting Audi A8, um, the Roof CTR3, which is a prize car, the McLaren 12C GT3, the Aventador J, the Janetta G55 GT3, the Pagani Zonda, and the Lamborghini, which are also both prize cars from the year 2012. Um, now, these are the cars they've snubbed. Uh, one, the ones that I really don't understand, I guess the elephant in the room is the Peugeot Onyx. I don't know why they even decided to put this as their thumbnail prize car. 
Um, I mean thumbnail, I guess menu screen car if it isn't even included in the tag Which is just it, it boggles my mind to be honest and I feel for brazen because brazen we had this conversation He was like yeah, man the onyx, you know, obviously it's it's the thumbnail car Obviously, they're gonna put it in nah not not even the case and it's it's kind of ridiculous honestly some of the cars which I felt like could have had a pretty nice Inclusion in the tag would be things like the Audi A5 DTM and maybe even the Lotus Evora GX Because I can't remember the last time the Audi A5 and the Lotus Evora were cars that were you know needed in some kind of special tag I understand why the Gumperts aren't here because um, I think the chariots of the gods recently uh, Basically showed the Gumpert Apollo and Rage and the Apollo R and if I remember correctly um, Chariots of the gods also had the Peugeot Onyx which could be a reason why it's not included in the year of the dragon But then why? make it your thumbnail prize a thumbnail car you know what i mean it just doesn't make any sense um the roof rt35 could have been included as well i'm kind of surprised that that wasn't there um the avenger j makes sense though i think honestly if you're making a lunar new year event any car that is red gold or yellow that falls in the dragon years they have to be included um but that isn't the case as we will see later so those are the cars that they added and those are the cars that they left away now moving on to 2012 epics um there are a lot of cars over here actually um i if i remember correctly it's 16 plus 20 24 uh, 23 23 cars that you can get over here uh again play along if you want to what are the cars that you want to see what are the cars you don't want to see i definitely do not want to see the morgan aero coupe i definitely do not want to see the bmw i don't want to see any of the jerry's to be honest um i don't want to see the audi um i definitely don't want to see um the bentley continental obviously i know the answer already so i'll show it to you right here um year of the dragon is very 2012 heavy and there is a pretty good reason for that. Um, so only a few cars didn't make it. The Morgan didn't make it. The Mustang Boss didn't make it because I believe that was featured in Call of the Wild. It was also featured in that Car Wild collaboration, uh, which wasn't really that hype anyway. Uh, the Mercedes Benz C63, which I believe was also Car Wild, maybe. The Lamborghini Gallardo, though. This one, this one's a bit of a shocker. I'm surprised that this isn't included. I can't remember the last time the Gallardo was actually even used in anything. So this would have been a good time for that. Um, the Emerge E, I guess it was too good to be here. Um, the Mitsubishi as well. The Diaz Numero 9, as well as the Volkswagen Golf R, and the Mercedes A45 are all cars that didn't make it, but everything else did make it. Um, according to those teasers, the majority of the epics from Year of the Dragon are going to be around 2012. Now, what I'm definitely excited for the most would be unpacking the Mercedes SLS AMG GT. I think that'll be the one that I definitely want the most if the pack does come true. Uh, some of the cars which I'll be pretty happy to get with the Porsche 911 Carrera and of course be an American collector, the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. But there are a lot of really garbage epics in here. Things like the BMW M135, the Acura MDX, the Audi RS5 Cabriolet, um, the Audi S4, and the Lincoln MKZ concept to some degree. It's pretty okay it's gonna be good for this tag but in the general scale of things it is one of the worst rq 79 4 wheel drive entire cars in the game but again this isn't a pack review i'm just showing what is being included and what is being excluded um it's a bit of a shame that they didn't add the emerge of the mitsubishi um because i feel like that would have you know increased the value of the pack um but it is what it is now moving on to the ultra rares again there are 16 ultra rares that you can get uh from 2012 but not all of them were selected now, you know how earlier I said that I feel like it makes sense. It's on brand. It's on theme. If they selected Year of the Dragon cars that were specifically gold, yellow, and red. So if I were the designer, if I were the one that selected the cars, for example, some no-brainers would be the Camaro, the Falcon, the Morgan Plus 8, the Charger, the Cayman, both the Caymans, basically. But lo and behold, most of the cars I mentioned aren't even included. The only ones that actually made the cut was the Ford Falcon XR6 and the Dodge Charger Super B. Of course, it's it's the new World Expo stuff, and all the old stuff isn't really included. Um, the Nissan SEMA VIP as well, doesn't really make any sense why that's there. Hyundai Veloster, Citroen DS4, the Focus ST, as well as the BMW 650i making the cut. Oh, and of course the BMW X6. Now one thing to do to note is that there are not a lot of off-roader cars at this time around. Um, only the X6 representing uh, Ultra Air, and I don't think there were any off-roader cars that were, rep oh actually there were a couple, I, 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 I forget. Um, the Mercedes AMG, 
uh, ML as well as the Acura MDX. All all service tire cars, by the way. No off road tire cars. So that's something to think about as well. If they have any off road tire track sets, you will be in a situation where you may need to be upgrading some all service tire cars, which is never a fun thing in top drives. Now, moving on to 2000s, there are five 2000 legendaries uh, in the game. And these are cars I'm sure a lot of us are probably accustomed with because these are cars that have uh, been used to win prize cars a lot. Like Hutch loves the 2000 to 2004 niche. We have seen the Pagani Zonda so many times. We have seen the Selene S7 so many times. We've seen the TVR Typhoon so many times. Um, I mean, uh, the Pagani Zonda S, for example, I have this fully upgraded because it won me the HDI FAP. Um, and then the Celine, uh, Celine S7 came in for a pretty recent prize car as well. Uh, some cars that I feel like they didn't get a lot of time in the limelight in this five uh, would be the Peugeot 206 WRC. Lo and behold, the only one that actually did make the cut was the Pagani Sonda S. So it wasn't even the Peugeot 206, it was the Pagani Sonda S. Pretty interesting. Um, I would say that, you know, between the TBR, the Pagani, and the Lamborghini, all those cars are probably going to go down to Epic one day. Um, so that's not a very good legendary to have included. Not a really good one to unpack. I had two of them and I fused one away, actually. Uh, in terms of 2000 Epics, again, these are cars that you've seen uh, many, many times. The Dodge Viper GTSR Concept, this one over here, has won me three or four prize cars. Uh, the Mitsubishi Lancer was a really good car for the... Um, uh, Peugeot HDI Fab. I didn't have that, but I had the RS4 upgraded. And, and back then, during the time of the Peugeot HDI Fab, which was 2021, uh, 4th of July, um, that used to be medium ground clearance. It's low ground clearance now. And if I remember correctly, only two cars of the eight over here were selected for Year of the Dragon. And those two um, are the Subaru Impreza and the Audi RS4. Now, this kind of makes sense because a lot of these cars were heavily used in previous tags or tri-series. Uh, the Mustang SV Cobra, for example, and Call of the Wild. AC Cobra were in a couple as well. I think it was also in that... Um, what is it? All I can think of is Pal World, but it's not Pal World. Uh, the Car Wow thing, I think it was included in that as well. Um, it makes sense that the Super Impreza made the cut because obviously this is a car that you couldn't use in all of those tri series because it's a prize car. Audi RS4, I think they kind of just threw it in there to be honest. Now moving on to 2000 Altrius. This is where it kind of just goes downhill for me. Um, if I were the designer, I would definitely include the Lotus 340R. Because the Lotus 340R was such a useful car. And then obviously with the introduction of Great Expo, the introduction of the Maxi going down from an Epic to an Ultra Rare, the introduction of the Zenus, the Lotus 340R has just become a pretty meh car. Like it's still really good, but there are better options for players to use. So this would have been a fantastic time to utilize the 340R, to bring it back, for people to remember, oh yes, we were, I remember when this car was super, super useful. It's nice that you know we will be able to use it again no that's not the case they, they snubbed it so the ultras that they added from 2000 include the Mazda 626 the roof RGT the Audi all-road quattro the Porsche 911 and the Mazda RX-7 oh and of course the ASMR in the top left corner as well cars they took away Lotus X Siege as one Lotus 340R Spiker C8 honestly if you looked at everything over here the top three ultras in my opinion is the X Siege the 340R and the Spiker C8 they took it all away which is gonna de value the pack in my opinion rgt is all right 626 i mean it's not that good but it's not terrible the audi all road quattro again is your only all surface tire representation from the 2000 ultra rares and then you have things like you know the rx7 and the 911 and the martin uh, aston martin v8 which you know it's it just all looks like filler to me one thing i also can't wrap my head around is the exclusion of the volvo v70r again you know if it's red um if it's gold if it's yellow it just makes sense to put it in i mean imagine Imagine having a Year of the Dragon event times five, and then like, you know, red, yellow, gold times five. That just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? But obviously you can't do it now because there are not a lot of cars that include, uh, you know, that, you know, those color tags. Now, let me go into 1988. I'm just gonna clump everything together. Uh, these are all the ultra, epic, and legendary cars from 1988 in top drives. Again, you would expect the Lotus Esprit Turbo, Kuntosh, and the Donkavor D10 to be included because all of them are red, but that isn't the case. Only one of them are gonna make it. And as you can see over here, these are the cars that made it. So again, they're excluding the Nissan Bluebird. So the, I don't think there's a single off-road tire car, ultra and above, that they're including uh, for Year of the Dragon. They're including some all-surface tire cars. I think they want us to use those all-surface tire cars. And that's the thing. That's why I think that all-surface tire cars are so terrible in top drives. 
because you will never use them unless Hutch forces you to use them. And I guess this would be a good time for you to use our all surface tire cars. If there literally isn't any off-road tire cars in this, um, and it doesn't seem like it, at least ultra and above, those all surface tire cars might be able to make an impact if any of those challenge levels are gonna have any off-road track sets. Again, uh, they omitted the Peugeot Oxia, the Peugeot 405, they really don't want the French cars this time, do they? Jaguar XJR9, Don Confort, and the Lamborghini Kinsage. The cars that they decided to add is the Alfa Romeo 164 Pro Car, which is a huge win for me because I have that full upgraded um the audi v8 quattro the license esprit turbo and the tbr 450 uh, seac uh now last but not least is uh, 1964 and 1976 only four uh cars uh within those years it's the porsche 936 the porsche 911 turbo 3.0 the fiat barf 131 and the tbr griffith 400 and only two cars make the cut i believe and that goes to the tbr griffith 400 and the porsche 936 again um i I have the 936, so that's pretty nice going into Year of the Dragon for me. Um, but it is a little bit sad that it didn't add the Porsche 911 Turbo 3.0. I think that would have been a great inclusion uh, in the pack. Not because it's a good car or anything. It's just, you know, I love the car. That's it. It's, it's a little biased little hint uh, into the entire video. But yeah, the Fiat Abarth is snubbed once again, which kind of solidifies the fact that I don't think there are any off-road tire cars that are ultra and above. Um, I'm not sure about Super Airs, though. I haven't done any research on that. Obviously, I, I only care about, you know, the cars that matter the most when you open a carbon fiber, so ultra, epic, and legend. Then you have the TBR Griffith, and that kind of concludes Year of the Dragon. So yeah, it's not a huge tag, it's not a small one either, but let me know down in the comments below, what's your opinion on kind of these curated picks of cars? Like, wouldn't it be better if Hutch just chose every single car from that tag? Or would the tag be too big in that sense? Anyway guys, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys have a great day, and stay safe, wash your hands, and blossom out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly. Got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly. Got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac Hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville Atlantic Blonde hair, don't care, look like Leslie Brooks Pin up 